What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Rise TV. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, and also go get a copy. Faith of an Unwanted Child. It's on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon. But let's get into it, man. We got prime time, man. I see everybody hating on prime time, man. Come on, people. Why do y'all continue to hate on prime time, man? Everybody wants this man to coach at to HUBs. For what and why? If he had an opportunity that came his way to be on national TV and also put his family in a good position, which is his kids. They play for, uh, 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 football, his two sons, and his daughter, she plays basketball. Why do y'all be hating on this man? Why? Because he's making his own lane, um, his own legend, uh, uh, legacy when black folks not going to do nothing but hate on this man. It doesn't matter what this man do. The black community, I ain't saying all of them, but you are going to hate on this man. Point blank, period. You're going to hate on him. Why are you hating on primetime, man? He took Jackson State and turned it, the, turned it around. Now, by him doing that, he didn't get rewarded for it. So you expect for this man to be at this school and keep dealing with the same thing over and over and over. See, what y'all fail to realize is that Jackson State was bad financially before he came there. So is it his fault or is it the dean's fault or is it the counselor's fault or who whoever's fault is it is it they fault because y'all fail to realize is that he came into a program that was failing so he bringing his uh legacy he's bringing um his coaching skills he's bringing his celebrity friends he's bringing every single body to this school and he put them on the map not only did he talk about it but his action spoke louder than his words and now y'all mad why y'all mad he did what he's supposed to do at jackson state by bringing the football program up to a level that no other coach could do. And so now by him getting a job offer at Colorado state, not everybody is mad. Who cares if is at an all white school? Who cares? You act like races ain't been going on since we was, not even thought of it is what it is this is a money game and it's also a foundation game you broke negroes are mad because he's getting opportunities and you are just hating because you want black a black man to save you. That's basically what y'all always look at. You looking for another black man to save you. Get you out of your situation. But you don't want to get yourself out of your own situation. So now you getting mad at prime time. Dion Sanders. Hey, uh, Dion, man. Keep doing your thing, man. Because one thing about. People like myself and like yourself as a black man, you're going to always hide them haters. You're going to always hide them haters, man. 
it don't matter if you're doing something good or if you're doing something bad. They going to hate. Because one thing that I know for a fact, um, them white folks going to put that money in your pocket. Them white folks going to put you on another level. Them Negroes ain't going to do nothing but hate or kill your ass. That's a fact. So at the end of the day, man, you keep doing what you're doing, man. Um, I salute to you, man, you know, uh, putting your your kids in a uh, a better situation if they chose to, you know what I mean, go pro with it. Um, again, you made the foundation for your kids because that's what it's all about. Not only are you looking at your kids, but you working with other young boys that ain't have no other opportunity, you know what I mean, come their way if it wasn't for you. So you got to expect, you know what I mean, people to turn on you. You got to expect all these things, man, because one thing that I know for a fact is that once God got his hands on you, um, it's nothing that anybody can possibly do. See, rather you left Jackson State or rather you stayed at Jackson State, it still would be some type of problem that they're going to go against. Just think about it. When you was there and you brought nothing but good, what was happening to you? You was getting dead wrong on the back end. So again, man, you know me, you can't make people you can't make people happy, man. Just keep doing what you're doing, man. And uh, if another door open, and you know what I mean, and God wants you to walk through it, then walk through it, man. Because, you know what I mean, people going to find something that they're going to dislike about you. And you know that, and I know that. So I want you to keep on doing what you're doing, man. And um, the following season, you know, uh, yeah. We had we had a we had a nice little run, you know, four four uh four wins. We'll we'll take that, you know what I mean? It's better than what they had before. But again, you know what I mean, it's all learning experience. So now, you know what I mean, the new season, um, it's gonna be all yours, man. You know what I mean? So now you know what to expect, you know, by coaching on this type of level. You know what you dealing with when it comes to, you know, uh, uh, people, you know, you're going to lose people, man. You know what I mean? As you grow up in life, you are going to lose people. So me personally, man, prime time, keep doing your thing, baby. You know what I mean? I'm going to salute to you, man, regardless. You know, I'm a fan, you know. But again, you know, you got a lot of haters out there. But what they say, man, uh, you ain't popping if you ain't got no haters. Um, you got a lot of them, man. You know what I mean? You making a lot of these uh, uh, Negroes mad, but the white folks happy because you know why? Um, you bringing money. That's what it's all about is money. So um, keep making your money, man. And, um, yeah, you got my support, man. You got my family. Rather you win or lose, you know what I mean? Because uh, you working with kids, man. At the end of the day, you want them to have the best opportunities um, the best life after football. Um, you like me, man. I work with kids. So we understand. A lot of these people don't understand because they are selfish. They are selfish. It's only about them. But again, you worrying about the bigger picture. The bigger picture. And that's when, you know, um, you on your uh, last straw, you can't walk, and you got all these kids that come and, and they supporting you, you know what I'm saying, and doing things for you because they remember what you did for them. So it's bigger than what they can even imagine. So, Dion, man, keep doing your thing, baby, you know what I mean? Um, uh, yeah, 2024, man, it's your year. It's your year. And I'm speaking it into an existence. It's your year, 24, 20. 24 is your year um so i salute to you my brother um make sure y'all like and y'all subscribe and comment and also man go get you a copy man faith of an unwanted child man it's on bonds and Nobles and amazon and today baby y'all be blessed baby this is rise tv